from Dollar Tree Basic to high end on a budget. Keep watching. So we're going to start off with a square wire wreath from Dollar Tree. I've just gone ahead and wrapped the base with some burlap that I had. It's simple to do. You can watch pretty much any video to see how to do that and you just attach it with some glue. Then I'm going to take some foliage and some flowers. It's little scraps of stuff I already had that most of it came from Dollar Tree and also from Goodwill. Here's the sign. I've already taken the little hanger off of the back of it and just cut it and pulled it out. And then here are some more pieces of greenery. So there is a front and a back. See there is the wire underneath there. There's a front and a back. The one side is convex and one is concave. And you can decide which one uh, you want to use, but I actually used the side of the wreath that was rounded on the top. Just going to attach that together with some glue. I don't want to use too much because I always take things apart and repurpose them. Just going to give that a chance to adhere. Then I'm going to take these long picks and place these around one side to give it a C shape. I'm going to use some floral wire to just wrap around to attach the two wires together. You can use hot glue for this if you would like. Uh, if you want it to be permanent, that would be okay. But I want to give myself some options. So I'm going to attach it with some more floral wire, which I'm just going to bend like a, um, a hairpin, like a bobby pin. And just push it over the top of both of them and through the burlap and the wire that's on the inside of the frame. And then you just turn that over and pull it and twist it. You can then take those, uh, take your nippers or wire cutters or scissors and just cut that off if you want. I do all that toward the end. So I'm going to attach in a few more places just to keep it secure. Over the top, through the back, pull it and twist it. If the pieces come off like this, they very easily just slide back onto the pick. Easy thing to fix. So I'm going to take this mom, I believe this is what that is, put some glue on there and just attach that in the corner. And the foliage that came with that, I'm going to tuck back into there. I want to try to keep it balanced, so I'm going to do some to the left, some to the right, or some to the top and some to the side, whichever way you want to look at it. I'm just trying to find a spot underneath so that it sticks to the burlap because the burlap is got a lot of texture so it has good grip with the glue. Now I'm just going to extend that color down by putting these picks. I'm just gluing those down as well and pulling the little webs that come off of it off of it when it starts to dry. And then I've chosen two pumpkins. I chose the white one and I have a bronze pumpkin over there. I chose the bronze because the glittery wording on this is actually a brownish bronze color. So I thought that it, it looked good with that. I just threaded the picks through burlap and then put a good bit of glue on the bottom actually to hold it. A little more greenery here that came with the mom stems. And 
then I put a little, uh, there's some burlap leaves that came from Dollar Tree. Just going to tuck those in here and there. They are wired on the back so you can actually bend those a little bit. And that's always nice because leaves are not straight. Makes it a little more realistic as far as burlap leaf goes. But there we go, and I'm happy with the results. You can always add a hanger to the back if you would like to hang it up or you can sit it down nice and clean on the back. So I appreciate you watching. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Consider sharing this with friends and give me a big like. I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye.